Hello, ladies and gents. This is Jamie Lola Tallulah, and I am here to do a tutorial on this little primitive angel guy that I got today. So I got this die in. It looks like this. And I've already put it on my little magnetic sheet, so it's all ready to go in store. All right, so I thought I would just show you how to put this together if you've gotten this. And it looks like this. It's so cute. Adorable. And then there's a little angel girl. Um, I don't know if I did a tutorial on her or not. So, <clears throat> if you would like to see how to do the little angel girl, you can let me know that as well. And I can do that if I did not do one already. So, there he is looking all cute with his little prim looking self. I'm going to push that over. And I've already done all the coloring and I've done all the cutting. So, I'm just going to go ahead and show you what you need to do. Now, for this one, pretty much everything is self-explanatory. You just need to cut one of each for each color. You know character here's her his hair so you can color it or you know do it in white and then do some coloring or color it in the piece you want these are his wings of course here's a little tie you only need to cut one of those um, here's his collar so they put the collar the shirt and the pants all in one piece so if you want to do different colors like a white collar and a, a sh different color shirt you can take strips of paper and then just tape them on, okay? I don't have one for the shirt, but you get the idea, just strips of paper and tape the die down to it, okay? And then run it through your die cutting machine. Or if you want to make more than one, you know, just cut it out of the colors. Here, all of this is skin. So this is the face, these are his little legs, and these are his arms, okay? So you're gonna cut this out of a skin color, or you can color it, or color it using a white. And then here's his little shoes. Now. The shoes and the socks are together. There's a little line here that you can cut, or you can do like I did, I just simply colored it. So, I'll show you all those pieces. So, here is the face, and I glued the hair on already. Wings. The shirt. <clears throat> now, what I do wanna show you about this shirt, you see where I colored this? You actually could cut that and paper piece it if you wanted to same with the bottom because it will actually cut through do you see that maybe i'll show you this way it'll look better so see how you have that and it cuts through so you could actually have paper piece stripes now if you did the paper piecing with the stripes i would cut a base and then cut the other pieces on top okay and then you have the pants those little shorts same thing you could paper piece the little stripe there okay um, here's his little shoes and socks and so there you can see where the line is and if you wanted to you could just cut that and make it the socks here's the arm or the leg pieces and the two little arms so there all you have to do is go to town now I already went ahead and did this part I colored it and then I put his little hair on so you glue the hair on and next you want to do the shirt now you can put the collar on with the shirt or put it on next. What I did was just put a little bit of glue here on this neck piece. Then I glued the shirt on over that. And if you want to know how far up to go, see the little points? You can just put that underneath his jawline. Whoop. There we go. Then I went and put just a little dab on the corners here. And then I put the collar back on. I kind of bent it. Now, I'm using wet glue because, as you see, it gives you some more move time. But you could very well use tape or run this through your Xyron or something. Can you believe that I don't have a Xyron machine? How crazy is that? <clears throat> but I don't have one. All right, so there you go with his little hair head and so forth. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is put on his little arms. So I always flip it over. And then when you look at the arms, you have to remember that the thumb goes towards the body. So when you flip it over, you got to flip the arm over the right way as well. Okay, the thumb is always towards the body. Just put a little bit of glue here. 
and a little dab there. Thumb towards the body. Okay. And then to make it actually look like the shirt is over his arm, you always want to leave a little piece on this side. All right, then I do the same thing on the other side. Put that over there. And you can use the bottom pieces here to line up the arms. All right? If you want to check to see if you like it, just turn it over. Hopefully his little thumb will be showing a little more, so I'm going to flip that like that. All right? Okay, then I'm gonna flip him back over. And now I wanna put the shorts on. So instead of putting the glue on the shirt, I'm gonna put it right on the edge of the shorts. Okay, and you don't need a big line because you're just barely gonna overlap it. So I'm probably gonna cover up these little stitch lines. And you wanna center that. And since I'm working from the back, remember, always turn your stuff upside down. Otherwise, your coloring will be on the wrong side. So there we go. One can shape him up a little bit. And he turned out so cute. <laughs> All right. Then <clears throat> what you want to do is put him aside for a little bit and then take the shoes and the socks. Okay. Turn those over. And then these little squares are his legs that show after underneath his shorts. So just put a little bit of glue here and there, and then turn the legs upside down again, and just put a little bit of the edge on it. See that? So just a little bit of the edge. Because if you put too much, you won't see his little legs. So see, <laughs> that's so cute. Then what you can do is now and put these in the right place. If you put the legs on the pants, right? If you put the legs on the pants, they may be too far apart because the shoes are hooked together. Now you could go ahead and cut that right there, but they're actually cut as one piece. So if you put the legs on the pants, your legs may be too short or I mean too close together or too far apart to fit right in the socks. Okay, so then all you have to do is put just a little dab of glue across the top here and across the top there. And here's another little tip if you're working with wet glue, because see how my little leg twisted? If you want, what you can do is just like, once you put the piece on, just let it sit there for a half a second and maybe go work on another piece and then come back. So it'll get a little bit tacky and then it won't you know, smoosh and move around as much. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is put these little shorts right on the edge. Center them up the way you want. Show how much leg you want. And so cute. <laughs> how cute is he now, right? His little legs. All right, then you do have this like little bow thing and I think it looks kind of weird with this little boy. So, yeah. Now, you could very well turn this into a girl. You could go ahead and like extend some curls or put some little puff balls on the side or something like that. You know, make the pattern cute because girls wear shorts as well. Make a little pattern. You could put a little ball up here to make it like a ponytail, whatever. Okay, so you could make the same one a girl. The other one, you could use the prim face from the other one and its hair to make it look like a girl. All right, next thing is your wings. Now, all you need to do is put a little bit of glue just kind of like across here and a little bit down the center. And oddly enough, they don't fit on his back. I mean, you could put them down there, but they look weird. So it just kind of goes behind his shoulders at the top. Yay. And then you have a cute little dude. Okay, now here's another thing you can do. <clears throat> if you have the other one, or if you wanna adjust the hair, you could always adjust the hair with anything else you have. You could also take these little wings, and if you kind of folded them up, you could make a little skirt, okay? 
So always think of what else you can do with your dies to add different kind of looks to them. All right, thanks for watching. And then, like I said, here's that little piece. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and if you have any other um, requests for tutorials, you can go ahead and leave those in the comments below, and I will try to get some going. Thanks for watching. Bye. And definitely check out my other little doll videos. Um, I'll leave a couple over here, and then definitely please go and check out my other channel if you are interested in writing and journals and TNs. It's Poet Spice Biblioscribe, and I'll put a video link over here for that as well. Thanks for watching.